What we're going to demonstrate now is how you can apply a rope uh, to cast the cow by Roof's method. The dummy cow is actually ideal for this because the difficult part of this technique is actually tying the knots and getting the ropes correctly orientated. But we can obviously very safely practice that on the dummy cow. So the first thing we need is, is an assistant. The assistant is going to help us to pass the ropes from, back, from one side to the other of the cow. So what I've got is a long nylon rope. I'm going to pass the, the, the short end of the rope over the neck of the cow and ask the assistant to pass it back underneath the neck of the cow. Now the first thing we need to do is tie a non-slip loop around the cow's neck. And the best knot for that is the bowline. And this is actually one of the more difficult parts of this technique is making sure you can tie the bowline because the bowline isn't a particularly easy knot to tie. First thing we need to do to tie a bowline is to make a loop in the rope. So what I've done is made a loop here, and if you notice, the long end of the rope is actually lying underneath, and that's quite important. So I've got the free end, the free end is going to come up through the loop, it's going to go round the end which is attached to the long end, so we're going to go round, and then we're going to go back through the loop. and that will tie a bowline. That's the classic way you, you'll, you'll see a, a bowline demonstrated, and that's what it will look like. Actually here it's going to turn upside down and lie across the cow. So now we have a non-slip loop around the neck of the cow, which can't tighten and therefore can't strangle her. <clears throat> what I'm now going to do is ask my assistant to come and stand on the opposite side of the cow to me at about the level of the forelimb. I'm going to pass all the rope over the top of the cow to the assistant, and I'm going to ask the assistant to pass the rope back underneath the cow, just behind the forelimbs. What we're now trying to do is create a loop around the cow. So what I could do is just take this free end out and then pass it up. But actually, if we're careful, we can do that in one motion where the free end of the rope comes up through the loop we've just created. What that actually achieves is putting a loop around the cow just behind the forelimbs. Now I'm going to ask my assistant to, to move uh, down the cow and stand opposite me, at a, just in front of the hind limbs, about the pelvic region, and we're going to do exactly the same again. So I'm going to pass the long end of the rope over the cow to the assistant and ask her to pass that back underneath. Now notice how we've got our, we, 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 we're not turned around that way, so we're not, we haven't got our, our heads facing toward the hind limbs. We're actually doing this by, by facing forwards, which is slightly safer. And again, I'm going to take the long end of the rope through, through the loop we've just created, and that's going to create a second loop around the cow in front of the hind limbs. Now, there's a few things we need to check. Firstly, the rope is positioned in front of the udder. We're going to put tension on this rope. We don't want to damage the udder. Um, secondly, you'll notice the sort of height I've got these ropes set at, because this will actually just slide down the cow if we wanted to. Uh, it doesn't actually make much difference. I find it slightly easier to have the loops crossing at about this sort of level. Now the last thing we're going to do before we try and cast the cow is we're going to take all the slack out. So we're going to tighten those loops. First we're going to tighten the, the loop round uh, just, in, just behind the forelimbs. And then we're going to take that slack and again we're going to tighten the rope just in front of the hind limbs. We've mentioned how this is in front of the udder, we'll check that again. It doesn't actually matter where the loop lies um, across the top of the cow. Uh, this model cow isn't anatom strictly anatomically correct. Sometimes this will lie in front of the pin bones, sometimes it will lie behind the pin bones. It doesn't really matter. So now in order to cast the cow, all we need to do is to pull on this free end from the left hand side. But that's demonstrated how we can apply the ropes to cast a cow by Ruth's method to the dummy cow. And we'll talk about it in slightly more detail when we move to, to use the live animal.